Howdy y'all in YouTube land. I got my good friend Kenneth Burris here from Indiana. And uh, he's come down and my family's down here and we decided to do just a little picking and grinning for everybody. This isn't rehearsed or anything. We just got done warming up and we're just gonna probably do uh, some songs, picking and grinning, maybe do some instrumental tunes. Hopefully he won't leave me behind in the dust and all this. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and play just whatever. I guess we're in A, so what would you like to play? You want to sing yeah, one? Or? A flat on sing one. Oh, you're an A flat, okay. You're gonna be moving. All right, good deal. Let's give me a chance to do some harmony stuff. All right. I'm only a beginner. You're only a beginner, all right. <laughs> This old world's no place to live Not enough care, not enough getting The time clouds us in It's our old kind of way But this life is gone with it Ain't gonna be my home forever Gonna be moving Gonna be moving Gonna be moving Gonna be moving Moving away Gonna be moving One of these days When I leave Sickness, no more dying. Joy awaits me in that mansion far away. When I rest from all my labor, Lord's gonna be my next door neighbor. Gonna be moving, gonna be moving, gonna be moving, moving away. Gonna be moving one of these days. When I leave. times but uh i know i like that song i just couldn't didn't know the words to it or anything like that. <laughs> who sings that originally i'm trying uh, to think who i've heard sing that larry sparks sings it dawson rains they sing it i don't remember who that was i heard sing that but it seems like if they had a, some high-pitched voice or something like that that might have been a harmony though but tell us about your guitar there that's a martin d16 gt it's a gloss top that's what that gloss GT's top, for, yeah. okay it's a Got mahogany back and sides. So oh, Ooh, one boy, piece. That's, that's red. <laughs> yeah. That's nice right uh, there. Got the regular factory tuners on it. So he's know. special. He's got dots on his fretboard there. So I'm, I'm kind of cheap in that area. But. Yeah. Got to pay extra for that. You got to pay extra? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and for that nice little herringbone inlay. I like that uh, tortoise shell pit guard too, man. Oh, yeah. That's, that, that just make it just... Yeah stand out there. And other than that, it's not, it's, it's not forward shifted bracing, it's just, you know, it's a, it's not X style, but uh -huh. it's a standard bracing. Probably A-frame. Yeah, A-frame. A-frame bracing. It's got a good sound here from where I'm sitting. I don't know how good the thing's picking up a wire, but it's got a good sound from where I'm sitting at. So you're from Indiana, then, huh? uh, not, well, you live in Indiana. I live in Indiana, from Kentucky. From Kentucky, that's what it was. Now, what part of Indiana? Uh, I uh, lived in Muncie for a while, 
and I got married and moved to Dunkirk, Indiana. Dunkirk? Yeah, it's a glass capital of America. The what? The glass capital. Glass capital? Yeah. Huh. I oh, said the grass capital. I was like, I thought that was Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what type of grass you talk about, of yeah. course. <laughs> I got one we can do. I'll do an A flat. Child of the King. I love that song. You sing it off the scenery? Yeah, yeah, do that for sure. Long time.
whole lot of high stuff here lately. Yeah. I've been concentrating on open string stuff. You like so, bluesy stuff. I love bluesy stuff. So, uh, let's do 12 bar blues. 12 bar blues. All right. All right. We tried. Some in a G progression. Some in G. Uh, you, uh, you capo up into the third fret and play it in the E position. That and sounds good to me. Yeah, I like doing the E kind of stuff. Yeah. I'd rather do blue stuff kind of like an E and A shapes. Totally, yes. That is like okay. a slow blues. All right. Fun stuff right there. Mm -hmm. I played losing a while on the acoustic. What's something you like to do in C? In C? C position. C position. Uh, let's see. The last thing on my mind's fun. You know the words? Not really. I haven't listened to it in a while. New River Train. New River Train? I've heard of that, but I can't remember how it goes. We can try, though. I'll Tony, catch up to Tony Rice and Norman Blake did that. New River Train. Is that it? Okay, yeah. They can kind of be in the Okay, fine. Yeah, sure. Let's do some new stuff. They're used to me doing the same old stuff, and I'm ready for some new stuff myself.
keep up somewhat on that one. See, it kills my hands anymore now. I don't know what the deal is with that. The way I grip or what. I'm going to take a break here. See, see for it. Get the drum water here. That sounds familiar. Let's do something in D. <laughs> the three main keys, G, C, and D. Frank Stranger. Yeah. You do that in D or you think what an E or Yeah. Do an E. Do it in D. Oh, oh you're gonna be in C shape? Yeah. Mm. You're it. Yeah, I can sing it, but I think I do it. Mm. I think I have a little bit of the work. Drop D song he does. How much time we've been on her? Twenty-three. I like that song you do, Captain John. Wasn't Captain John? Captain John. That one was inspired by Church Street Blues. The, the, the picking style, you know. What's on that song? I just had the same. Oh, you doing that? <laughs> I'm thinking of Church Street Blues now. <laughs> I 
I did it in E flat. E flat. Yeah. That's where Church Street Blues is done too. But that's where I got that is just messing around with pick and style, and then I had those chords. And it was a weird timing. It wasn't like one, two, three. That was a quick shift. And so when that happened, I was like, okay, what can I do with this? And it just wouldn't leave me alone until I finally come up with the words. But I get a lot of requests for that one. I love that song. You do much songwriting? Mm -hmm. A lot of song playing. Yeah. Now, how long have you been playing since you... We was talking earlier, but for the audience, what was it again? How long? Uh, about 11, 12 years. 12 years old, and you're 20 now? Or about to be 20? I've been playing about 11, 12 years. You've been playing 11, 12 years? Okay. And you're how old now, though? 19. 19, okay. So that would put you at what? I'm a terrible math. 12 years, no. About six, six years old. Wow. That's about as, you said, 11, 12 years. I've been playing a little over 20. You got some good chops on you, I'll say that. <laughs> this is the first time we're getting to meet today in these season. We've been going to correspond on Facebook back and forth. And uh, finally get to, get to pick around a little bit. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah. And you play in a group, a band called, what was it now? Calvary? Calvary Road. Calvary Road. Now, how long have you been playing? Yeah, we just actually recently got together. Just recently about got together? A month and a half. Okay, a month and a half. And y'all are based out of Indiana. So, yeah. Any, any people in Indiana look for Calvary Road. He showed me his banjo player a while ago, and I tell you what, he tore it up. Well, what next? Let's get you in singing another tune here. I saw the light. All right. I always forget the words for that. <laughs> I don't I know why. Middle tune like a Amazing Grace or yeah. a Free Man of Jesus or something like that.
nice transition there. It was a chord I was trying to figure out where it was, and I finally figured it out on Amazing Grace. It's going to be minor. Because I heard uh, Tony Rice on one of his instrumental albums he does, he, he plays Amazing Grace, and they go to B minor, and I was like, what is that chord? And I was like, when you do the next go around, but you went straight to the other song, I was like, oh, I missed it. <laughs> Uh, see Jesus hold my hand the instrument. Oh yes. Yeah.
totally like fluid right through the whole thing. You went there and I was like, ah, there's that song. Let's do a couple more. Let me just turn that off and just jam or something. Um, I was going to ask you, uh, you've been playing bluegrass now for, did you say 11 years? Since I was 11 about years. Seven. What do you, what in your opinion are some in, bugs out here? What, in your opinion, are some uh, important aspects of learning how to play bluegrass guitar? Like, well, the main thing you want to learn is rhythm, because that's one of the most important parts before you get into all the picking and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Because a lot of people want to start in and start picking right away, and exactly. they lose their timing. Exactly. That's a good point to make. So, so uh, the main thing is that get the rhythm right, whether you're going to play a Ralph Stanley song or a J.D. Crow song or... Even the Brian Sutton too. Brian Sutton, Tony Rice. Yeah, something like they that. They got some of the most amazing rhythm out there, you know. If you want to start out with basic stuff, then you're looking for something basic, like mm -hmm. Carter Stanley. Yeah. People like that. And Jimmy Martin has a really good rhythm. And I'm one of the modern people would uh, be Del McCurry. Yeah. They are heavily rhythm based on how it's They, they got a heavy hand. Mm -hmm. And so does Dan Tominsky. He has yeah. a really good rhythm. Yeah, he's a really good mandolin player, too. He keeps the uh, rhythm going real good on that. Something I noticed about a lot of the older guys, they make the three-finger G chord. Yeah. yeah. I guess it's got that more traditional sound yeah. with that open B ringing like and that. Some people, they do the walk like... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and then, then now they got yeah. the... Oh, yeah. That's what I stick with. But start yeah. out small and work your way up. Yeah. And look at varieties of people that play bluegrass music. And, and look at some Irish music. For, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually did. I had a request on my YouTube channel to do the Rocky Road to Dublin. Have you ever heard that? Oh, my goodness. That was a tough song because the timing, you're talking about rhythm. The timing was so weird of Irish tunes. I mean, it's just, it's weird. I don't know if it's 5 4, it's just an odd timing. And it's like you expect the beat, like we all went four, 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 you got one, two, three, four, one. Well, with this song, it was like one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two. I mean, it was weird. It was off time like that. It took me a while to memorize it and get it to, get to working. But yeah, Irish tunes are real good. The, the Celtic music and things like that. I've been watching your picking hand, trying to notice, uh, you know, kind of watch it and everything. And you do a lot of stuff that I do. Once you get used to the picking, you don't have to have a lot of movement. I mean, it's just flawless. You don't have to have a lot of movement. You don't have to worry it's about it. It's all in the thing, the thumb and the pointer finger. Thumb and the pointer finger. That end of the index finger there. That's for me. Yeah. yeah. Now you grip the guitar as well, like I do. Yeah. Do you hold on the skirt strings at all? I clamp the no, strings. I, I just rest my finger on the pick guard. I find myself uh, grabbing the string a lot, just for an anchor point. It helps when I'm going to play, like say, an F chord without the bar. So, So if you, so we got the rhythm, get, get, uh, get the rhythm down. Now, as far as learning to pick, how did you develop your picking style? I mean, similar to mine. I mean, I can tell a lot of the same pickers either they'll watch somebody else or uh, you know just Honestly, develop something I, on their own. I was just telling you earlier, I didn't have a computer uh -huh. or nothing like that. I had CDs that I, I'd put them in the stereo and I mm -hmm. sit there and I'd listen to them. And I'd listen to them over and over and over and over until I developed that pattern yeah. that that person had. Because I wanted to be able to do what they were doing. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I got into my own stuff. Mm -hmm. And I take some other people's stuff, and I mix it in with mine. I just combine different things yeah. to make it my own. Exactly. And that, I noticed Tony Rice kind of talks about that, too. And just, just about every guitar player will say, well, they stole this lick from one of their favorite players or... Like I said, Trip Strip Blues inspired me to write you know, Captain John, the, the picking style. And through that, like you said, you just find your own, what you want it to sound like. Even Tony Rice, he said one time in his master class, he tried to play a song forever like Clarence White played. And he found out that he just couldn't do it. So he, he did his own thing, and it worked out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people struggle trying to do things exactly like Tony does or exactly like Brian does. 
and that's just through years of experience that they've learned this stuff. And no doubt they found something too that they couldn't do. I've heard Brian say, and it was a relief to me when I heard this. Tony can flip that thumb over and hit those bass notes, you know. Yeah. And I thought, man, I just won't be, never be able to do that. I'm just sorry, you know. And I heard Brian Sutton say, he said, you know, I don't have big hands. I can't do this stuff like this. And I was like, yes, I don't have to have that over the thumb bass note like Tony's got, yeah. you know. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, what, what do you do? What do you recommend as far as like uh, fiddle tunes? Fiddle tunes? Yeah. Major like, scales. Major scales. You don't really find much minor mm -hmm. in some fiddle tunes. Because a lot of them were basic. Yeah. And they go off the major chords. Yeah. Like Salt Creek, that, that's a good example. Okay. The rhythm part, I'll play a little slow. So All right. Like... to go ahead and do the picking part like see that's all based off blues scale mm -hmm. yeah. okay yeah exactly so do you do you like I know a lot of people especially like guitar like virtuosos talk about learning all the scale shapes and everything. When you're learning a fiddle tune, do you do it based off of all the scale notes or do you do it based off melody? Within, you know, like, for example, like in Salt Creek, da, 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 that's the melody. Yeah. Uh, but when you want try to learn one, do you do it based off the melody or do you try to find the major scale and then try to find the notes within that scale? Or well, I, just, I listen to it and mm -hmm. I try to match it up. To where okay. it would, what it would actually sound like, and then mm -hmm. match it up with that person that's actually playing. It. And those, and you can always go back to that scale for yeah. like the yeah, notes definitely. that you don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I know Steve Kaufman, he he always talks about doing. Uh, he calls it the Bible method: seek and you shall find. You know, hear it and try to find it on here. He says I don't worry about scales too much. I just go off melody. And even if you didn't know a single scale, if you could, like, I'll Fly Away, we just played a while ago. I'll Fly Away, some glad morning. If you just hear, you, I don't even know, you know, what notes in the scale that is, but I know it sounds good. Yeah. You know, and if I just run with that and then... Da, 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 yeah. You don't have to be fancy at first. I was always fascinated. You know, with me, I, I'm always learning a, a, a tune, and I recommend people learn a tune from the ground up as basic as they can. And then after you get the basic, you know, you're talking about Carter style. I'm teaching two students right now the Carter style playing. It's not a lot of down up stuff. It's a lot of uh, down, 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 down is, the, you know, the heavy strokes yeah. of the Carter when he, style. When he, does his, when he does his picking, for instance, it's a cross, more of a cross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. For example, I'm teaching a couple of students Wildwood Flower. And that's basic. I mean, you can get even more okay. basic than yeah. that. But notice all those structure down strokes. Mm -hmm. And so before you even get into the heavy, weird down, up, down, up stuff, that's another good recommendation is to start learning Carter style, like you said. Just very... That way you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm going to crash and burn because I don't you know, have my picking just right. Makes a big difference. So. Let's, let's do that. All right. All the flower. Okay.
basic. I mean, mm -hmm. what we do there is, yeah. after years of experience, we know all the, the notes yeah. and everything to use. And a lot of people, are, beginners, are intimidated by that stuff. They're right. like, oh man, it's like years. But you got to start slow. You start, start with a rhythm, start with your basics. Start a tune like that is with all downstrokes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then from that, you can build, you know, and you're like, okay, here's the notes I can use, and I can try hammer on. You know, you can build all those techniques into that stuff, so start basic and work your way up, you know. You want to check out this guitar? Sure. We got a little daylight left. We have to turn the camera off though, but uh, we're gonna swap out here. And... Huh? S -s square up. Okay. She's one... The director back there, my wife, is telling us to square up. And while we're doing this, why don't you take the blue chip here? You said you want to try one out. Go ahead and we'll swap out here. You use the blue chip, and I'll use the uh, Deandra Pro Click. <laughs> So this is kind of a satin thing, but it's got a gloss yeah. top. Oh, got a nice tone to it too. Nice. I can tell it's got a little bit of deeper tone than what I've got. Very nice tone. <laughs> it's got that boom, that Martin boom to it. Now these, you say these were uh, lights or medium? Those are mediums. These are mediums. Now, these look like 80-20 bronze. Is that what you're using? I love, I use phosphor bronze. I love phosphor bronze, and I've just always stuck with them. It's something I've learned. The, the wood's darker on your guitar, mm -hmm. and plus it has that satin finish, mm -hmm. so the phosphor bronze would actually sound better on this guitar mm -hmm. than it would on that guitar. Really? Just have a good tone with those. Uh... You're gonna make us look like yellow margins or something. <laughs> All right, what can we do? What can we do? Let's see. This train is bound for you. This train. Fingers going all over the place. It makes a difference. It does. What are you talking about? The pick? Yes, it does. Yeah, and I love those picks, man. I've been recommending them ever since I, I went to speak when I told you about that. And I went to uh, Matthew Goins, I guess it's, I think it's his name, gave me a sample of that. Did a review for me. It really does. So I had to turn back to another pick since I got that one. And I got a tri pick. Like I said, I recommend a tri pick because once one side wears out, you flip it and you got a new pick. So. Feels weird playing this small pick now that I'm used to the bigger one. <laughs> oh, the decision at Glady Fork? I've never, I've never really messed with that. I've, I've wanted it's, to. It's a hard it is a tough one. Yeah. That's a weird stuff. <laughs> I'll try that later. There, there's the tough part. Brian's stuff. I'm 
my favorites that he does is uh, Neil, Neil Yuz or Neela's Dance. Love that song. Well, what do you want to do for to just go ahead and uh, close it out? Close it out with. Now we hear cats meowing in the background. Let's get to close it out with. I like to hear you sing that again. I actually do a song, and uh, I think it's a good one to close it out with. All right. It's, uh, what would I do without Jesus? I love that song. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good song. Yeah, that's a good. <laughs> I'm having to do the old-fashioned wind it all the way up. <laughs> There's my click thing. everybody watching today we're going to, to close this out the moon is up the night is cool after a hot day we've been enjoying playing some martin guitars <laughs> and we appreciate everybody watching please check out kenneth i'm sure you got a facebook page yeah uh kenneth burris is uh says muncie indiana or dunkirk indiana Just, uh, look me up on there and i'll be glad to have you be my friend on there and i'll answer any questions that you have Right. Appreciate Kenneth being down here and uh, looking forward to keep in touch with him and having a good time playing some more bluegrass together. But uh, thanks so much, everybody, for watching. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see you next time, and I'll have this thing uploaded as soon as possible. God bless and take care and keep playing some awesome bluegrass.